there, there's just so many um, things that uh, I, I could probably touch on. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is Clayton and um, <clears throat> how long he's been a Dodger and, and how much he's wanted this opportunity to win a championship. <clears throat> I think of uh, the city of Los Angeles and how, um, how much they've been longing for another championship to come back to Los Angeles. Uh, I think about each individual player and coach and staff and their families and, and what we had to um, sacrifice uh, to get to where we're at. And um, to do what we did, um, it takes a lot of talent a lot of give, a lot of open-mindedness, um, and there was a complete buy-in. And so now as a almost a culmination, um, but getting an opportunity to play for a championship, uh, I'm just so proud of, uh, of our guys. <clears throat> Next question. Uh, to the back, fifth row to the left. <clears throat> Dave, I want to talk. No. Probably, you know, you need uh, one more push, but uh, you are, you know, Father Waymon. Smiling somewhere else. What do you think? I, I, I know that uh, he's wearing his Dodger jacket up there uh, looking down on us and, and smiling, and I know that smile very well. Uh, I thought of him uh, a lot in, in that ninth inning uh, when the game settled down. Um, and just uh, last year, uh, being in this ballpark and uh, feeling the way we felt last year, and to now look back and feel the, the elation that we have right now and seeing the celebration, the joy and, and the players, the coaches and the families, um, it, it's, uh, it, it's special, yeah. Anthony, to the hey, right. Dave, I, don't, I need to tell you that, you know, Kike's had a lot going on off the field in the last <clears throat> couple of years. What, what was the emotion of just seeing him having such a huge night and such a huge stage? It, it, it's um, it, all year long, it, it's been a collection of guys and, and certain guys stepping up and every single night it's somebody else. and. Tonight was his night to shine, and Clayton started the night and, and throwing a gem, and um, for him to start and, and pitch the way he did, and Kiki to have a huge night, three homers tonight, uh, just providing so much energy for us, and we fed off that tonight. Um, <clears throat> and it's a very good ball club over there. Uh, those guys are the world champs, and they fought to the end, um, but uh, uh, fortunately, uh, we came up on the, on the good side of things this year, but... Um, Hats off to, to Joe and his staff, <clears throat> class organization, and uh, great fan base. And for us to be able to celebrate uh, here at Wrigley Field uh, is something, obviously, uh, we don't take lightly and uh, try to do it in a classy way, respectful, but uh, still uh, enjoy the moment. <clears throat> Next question, JP. David, if you could share, Corey Seager, obviously a huge part of your club uh, all year. Can you can you say where he's watching tonight and, and the possibility of him possibly joining your roster for the next round? Well, I, I know Corey is, was at home and watching every single pitch and, and exchanging text, text messages with myself and the players and rooting us on, and he's doing everything he can to get healthy, and we expect him back for game one. So um, obviously when you have a guy like Charlie Colberson that can fill in like that, made some spectacular defensive plays, some big hits. Um, uh, it, it was great to see from Charlie, but obviously um, we're hoping to get Corey back for the World Series. <clears throat> Anything else? Anthony, again, third row. A little obscure, but you guys are the first team to earn home field advantage by virtue of you know regular season record with the, with the new format. So just what does it mean to have earned that privilege um, with the best record in baseball? This well, year? I, I think that up to this point, we've done everything we can, and throughout the regular season, um, understanding that every game, every pitch matters, and we put ourselves in this position. And um, to be able to go back home and not to travel as much and put ourselves in that spot is obviously a benefit. And those guys in the clubhouse, they did that. And um, it's it just a credit to the first game of the season to the last pitch. You know, we, we focused on every pitch for 162 games plus the postseason, and there's a lot to be said for that. Back to JP. And Dave, just to follow up on Clayton, you mentioned him and how badly he wanted this and, and for so long. You, you see him in a way that we don't every day as he prepares. What was he like today that was unique about what he knew was going to be a defining start for him in the organization? Well, I, I think that um, you, you can never question uh, his preparedness. and um, but, but today was a day that obviously um, we wanted to finish out and, and go home and <clears> – <throat> Uh, get a couple days off. Um, but it was one of those things, coming up after a loss and having him take the baseball, you knew that he wasn't going to be denied. 
And so for, for Chris Taylor from the beginning to set the tone and for Clayton to throw up a zero and um, get on the board early. But, but Clayton, and that was one of the things that I, I told him is that uh, getting an opportunity to play for a championship, he's done everything he can individually on the baseball field. But um, the one thing that he's missing is a championship. And so he's very emotional tonight. And, um, and he, he's earned that. So it's only fitting that he started tonight's game. Anything else? <clears throat> uh, one more toward the center. I guess on that note with, with Clayton, um, he'll be on full rest for game one on Tuesday night. Do you expect him to be on the mound? Yeah, yeah. Clayton will start game one, and, and after that, we'll kind of talk through things as far as how we figure out the rest of the rotation. But uh, uh, we can assure you Clayton will be starting game one.